Hi everyone! So today we're here in my dining room so we can get a really good look at this new storage from Diamond Press that they brought to HSN. It is a storage binder with very familiar pockets like we would see in the storage box. And I believe this also has a storage box, I want to say. So um, this bundle was sent free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. Mentioning those links for uh, some reason, HSN has two listings for the same thing. Uh, they're the same price. It's the same, you know, images. It's not pick one or the other. Both listings have the two um, designs that Diamond Press has brought. So I'll list them both <laughs> in the description box. It is possible, I believe, that there are going to be some binders by themselves. Um, don't quote me on that, but if they're, if that's the case, it's going to be very few. So if you see them or if I can let you know, hey, they're available now, maybe I'll put out another quick video just to let you know, uh, because I think those are super limited. So that's what I'm hearing. So I'm going to open up this box for you guys and then we'll see uh, what's in here. I'm not even sure which pattern I got or anything. So uh, I hadn't read it yet. So it says storage box and binder black and white floral. OK, so I have the black and white floral. There's also another one that's kind of like I want to say like a light blue, it, that's what it looks like. I don't have it here uh, to show you, but with like flowers, really cute. And this one I think is reminiscent of one of the designs they've already had, I'm not 100%, but let's see. I'm just going to open up this guy, and you know I like to show you guys exactly everything. I'm sorry if my voice trailed off there at all, because uh, I'm over here trying to get this guy open. Nice rainy day, overcast, should I say more than anything. So the lighting might be a little funky from that. Oh yeah, no, this is a definitely a different pattern. So when I was thinking of black and white, I know they had a black and white before that had flowers, but this one's um, a different look. So, right excuse off the me, I was gonna say right off the top, the binder does not have refill pockets because the idea is once the pockets that it comes with are full, you're not really gonna be able to put more pockets, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a binder, it's you know so thick. So once you've filled it up with your stamps and dies, you're not going to have any more room to put more refill <laughs> pockets in. So it's what it is. It comes with the pockets and then that's that for the binder, right? So let's open this guy up. And my understanding is that they are the exact same size as the um, box pockets. It's just they're a little bit longer on the side so that they have the, you know, the holes to put them into your binder. So you haven't lost any real estate there. They're still going to fit the same stamps and dies like um, the regular pockets that go into the box, okay? What I'm gonna do is just take this out of the plastic because I know it makes a lot of noise <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, so I took off the outer plastic. This one has a couple more layers of plastic on them. So this one, I'm just opening up the side here. We'll slide this guy out. So cute already. Let's take a look on the side here. Look at this. It has its little uh, placket there so you can put, you know, whatever name that you want to put in there. Maybe auto ships or florals or whatever it is that you're uh, arranging however it is that you like to arrange. But look at the little silver <laughs> end pieces. That is really a very, very cute detail and very, um, not just cute, but necessary, right? Because after a while these things can get bent in the corners and this will help protect those. So that's really nice. Um, so we open it up. Okay. We have our same strips as before, your labels. You can just write on them or you can you know, do that however you like. Um, I use a label maker just to make it a little neater. And then we have our pockets. So let me remove this. This is just for shipping. I will also say that this box right here doesn't have anything in it, so you can just toss that guy. Maybe use it for a gift or something. Um, okay, so we have these guys and Let's see how many pockets. It has two, four, six, eight. It comes with eight pockets. Um, and so again. same kind of setup here. And of course you're gonna pop them in here. So I'm gonna see if I can do them all at once, but maybe you wanna do them one at a time. Yeah, they're kind of moving in my hand. So let's just get these in here. That's three, uh, six, and then eight. So really cute. I love that it has so many um, of the little binder rings. And then of course when you open it up, you just, just like a regular binder, just pop it open and just give it a close. So we have our labels. Very cute. So yeah, you can imagine once it's full of stamps and things, there's no reason to put another refill in here. It's just not going to fit, right? So you have that guy. And then this is your uh, box, the storage box. And 
just like before. So let me slide this out of here. I know it has a few different bags of plastic on it, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Um, you know, I was just opening this up, just getting some of the plastic off so we can go right for it. I just noticed something, and my understanding was that those pockets for the binder are redesigned so that they would be the same. They're the same, but and I'm so sorry. I don't want to mislead anybody, and that's just what my understanding was. Uh, but no, they are the same. So the holes will take away some of the space inside of here, um, as you can see. Yeah, you know, they're exactly the same. And I'm sorry, my understanding was that they were supposed to be a little bit wider so that the holes weren't in the way whenever you put in your dies or stamps and things like that. So you're going to have to arrange it just a little bit differently. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a second. I'll bring some stamps and dies. But yeah, so the measurement is exactly 7 by 10 and a half. And I would edit that information out, but I think I talked about that too much to be editing it. So I am so sorry. And uh, yeah, that... Yeah, it's still ten and a half by, um, it's, you know, this one's just under seven inches, where this one is, I mean, they're pretty much the same, just under seven. So, yeah, I'm so sorry, and hopefully you'll hear what I said here, because I don't want to mislead in any way, and, um, I'm sorry. So, pockets, just like before same sizing um, and you get I believe let me count these out real quick yes so you get 20 pockets just as before you have your 20 labels and remember the labels are in with the pockets so don't toss those out or um, think that you misplaced them or anything like that you have your three dividers and this time it has the teal and the bright pink and the yellow um, you have your set of instructions very easy to put your box together so we'll do that in just a second and I'm so sorry that shadow is coming from me because just the way the lighting is right now um, so we have that We'll put that together in just a second. Let me go ahead and take this out of the plastic again. Quite a bit of noise, and I'll be right back. Okay, so actually, I'm going to come on this side. That's what I'll do. Get rid of that shadow. That guy there. Again, nothing in that box. You have your little um, placard here. Again, you can leave it with the dime press facing out. You know, I usually turn it, and I, again, auto ships or interactive cards or things like that, and that's what I, how I label them. Oh, look at this one. Maker's gonna make. I love the little sentiments they put inside the boxes. So you have that. And here we go. So let's put this to the side. With the box, all you're doing is bring all the flaps that are tucked under out. Up this way, right? Let's bring them all up. And these guys need to come in, right? These shorter sides in. Same thing with this side. And then you just bring up one flap. You can have, you know, you have the um, basically double-sided adhesive here. So we're gonna take the carrier off, bring it over. I kind of square it up before I try to close it just to make sure it's going to be nice and lined up. And tuck those guys in there. There we go. Turn it this way. And do the same thing with the other side. Now, uh, once this is filled up with you know stamps and dies and whatever else you're going to put in your pockets, um, it also helps keep this closed because it pushes against these flaps. So here we go. Again, kind of square it up a little bit. And go ahead and push that in. Bring this guy over here. There we go. It's a very cold morning, so my adhesive is cold. <laughs> so there you go. And then you have all your pockets and things. In the meantime, I always just put everything inside so I won't misplace anything. These guys go in like that. And they push against those flaps, so it helps keep them in their shape. And you can just bring this around. And you have your placard there. Again, you can put your sentiment. Or not sentiment. I'm so used to talking about cards and things. I'm like, put your sentiment on there. You can put your um, label in there. And then you can put your lid on. And some people like to put the lid on the base so it's always open and it just is there to be sturdy and you can always, you know, go in there and just kind of pull out what you use on a regular basis. Um, and then again, you have your dividers. Okay, so I'm going to go grab some stamps and things and let's go over to my craft room and so we'll just put some in so you can have a better look at what that looks like. So I brought the binder over. I'm going to pop one of those out. And then I have some of the 
pockets that come in the uh, box. So um, again, a closer look maybe at the pattern here. Um, let me see about measurements on this guy. I left my ruler in the other room. So it's 11 and a quarter tall by eight and three quarters. So 11 and a quarter by eight and three quarters. And it is about two, I'd say almost two and a quarter inches at the um, binding here. Uh, so there you go. And let's see here. Okay, so I do this differently depending on the stamps and dies and things that I have in front of me. Um, I have the perfect pair set that I you know, need to go ahead and put away. These are some larger stamp sets. Sometimes they're like a half size like this, so I put one on top of the other, kind of layering them in. Um, so right now I'm just going to stack them instead of like one and then the other like that is what I normally do. And I'll keep the whole thing. I always keep the carrier and everything, so I'll just pop it in here. And, you know, along with the instruction or inspo, I always keep those together. And then I'll just, you know, bring out my label maker, which I normally have nearby, but I'm not sure where she is right now. And I would say, you know, perfect pairs. And I would just put on there, or you can just write perfect pairs, right? One thing I will tell you when you go to slide these in is try to keep your hand kind of close to where you're at. If you try to slide in from like way over here, obviously it's not going to work as well. So just kind of keep it here and start. This is where I start. I suppose you can start at the other side, but there's a little tab kind of cut out for you. And I just see how I'm still keeping my hand pretty close and just pushing a little bit in at a time. And it'll slide right in. And then when you're ready, let's say I need to obviously put my label on here, I'll just pull it right back out. Okay, so that's how I do that because I've had questions about that. Um, again, this one, same thing. I'll just pop it right in here. Now, when you go to put in here, you know, you do have your, this is the one for the binder. You do have the um, holes there. So you're gonna want to make some kind of adjustment or maybe cut some of the paper off. It still fits, to be honest, but it's just gonna be very tight. So what I would do with this one, cause that's what I like, the stamps are perfectly fine. They're not going to be bothered in any way, but I would normally, if this is something I'm gonna do, I would just cut away the paper. Some people like to take their dies off of the uh, mat, you know, however, I'm just gonna get close to that and maybe even trim some away from this side, just why not? Uh, generally there's area all around these guys to trim some away, so. There you go. And it still fits. Again, you can put whatever brand in here. Uh, I have the diamond press items, and I generally keep my diamond press things in my diamond press storage, so that's uh, how I do it. But you can definitely put that in there, and it'll fit right back in the binder. Generally, no problem there. So just kind of squish it down. There we go. I'm just trying to get this one stamp set out of the way. Okay. And so let's just pop that back in and see how, what that looks like. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to misspeak at the beginning, but that's my understanding was, but there you go. No harm, no foul there. It still fits. Okay. So there you go. And uh, with something like this, like these guys, a lot of times I will also just keep them on their carrier. Sometimes I'll take them off the carrier and just put everything inside, you know? Um, it's a pretty nice pocket. I mean, unless you have something really tiny that might slide out, but otherwise I'll just take them off of the carrier and just throw them all in. But today they're still on the carrier and it fits nicely. So I'll just put the whole thing and nesting label frames. I usually put the word facing out also. So not only do I have the label here, but I also can look at it and have my instruction there ready to go. And that's how I package those. And there are refills on these guys, the ones that don't go into the binder. Um, you can always pick up refills. I believe they're a pack of 20 also with a divider set and then obviously with the labels. Uh, if they're not in HSN, they will be on mydiamondpress.com and I'll have the info there and I always have. Excuse me, and then I have my 10% uh, discount code for mydiamondpress.com. It's now changed to VCDP10. So VCDP10, that info will be in the description box you get 10% off your order on mydiamondpress.com but these other items are on hsn.com again I believe there are going to be some binders just by themselves not super many so um, just if you see it and that's something you want you're going to want to grab that pretty quick. Um, and, and you know, you know I wouldn't say that if I didn't know that they're very limited. <laughs> okay, so usually I don't know numbers on things, but this one I know it's not that many. So if you see it and that's what you want, you should grab it. 
trust me um all right guys yeah, so thanks uh, for watching uh if you have any questions please leave them i know there's a lot of moving parts in this one and maybe have some questions i do have several videos on the boxes um the previous you know iterations of the box the sizing is exactly the same so if i miss something you can refer to those videos i probably went more into depth then um but they're super simple to put together and then everything just layers in you put your dividers you know i label those too and all kinds of stuff so thank you so much Diane Press, for sending these items for review um of have the links in the description box and probably not any images because you know usually i take images of the projects so i will see you all at the next one bye now